hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create this pixelated animation it's going to be done using photoshop and after effects and at the end i'm just going to put everything together in premiere pro so if you guys want to see how this is done stay tuned now the first thing i want to do is i want to open a new project in photoshop and then i want to make sure that this is 1080 by 1080 because i want to make this a social media post after that i'm just basically going to create text for the text i'm going to make this white you can basically type whatever you want you will see that the point is for this text to be blurred out so that then we can create this pixel animation so there we go i just wrote keep your eyes on the prize the font i used was instrument serif we go to filter pixelate and mosaic we got to convert this into a smart object i'm just going to choose the cell size to be 11 11 i think is good don't forget to save the project as a psd and now we're going to head to after effects where we open this project i'm just going to create a composition i'm going to name this pixel text video i'm going to add this psd there and i'm going to head to effects and presets and i'm going to choose cc threshold If you look at this, you see that if you change the threshold, that's actually going to create that pixelation animation. And it's very cool. I'm just going to put some keyframes for the beginning at the ending of this. If we press U, we can see all the available keyframes, basically the stuff that's being changed for that specific layer. I'm just going to make this quick animation where I change the threshold to go from the smallest amount where the text is visible to the highest amount where the text becomes thicker. Then I want to change the color. I want to add the Gaussian blur legacy as well, because I want to create this cool effect where it looks like the text is glowing. You see how this is making it very cool. Then if we press T, we can change the opacity as well. Turn the opacity to 50%. Now I added a video at the bottom. I'm going to make this text layer screen. So basically I'm going to put this text on top of a video. I want to make this video black and white. I want to mess with the brightness and the contrast as well, because I kind of want to highlight the text more. Now I'm going to head to Premiere Pro where I basically want to put everything together, right? Now if you drag and drop the After Effects composition into Premiere, we can actually use it here within Premiere Pro. What I want to do is I want to put in some quick transitions. For that, I'm going to use the Premiere Composer, which has great transitions. Basically, it's a free plugin. You guys can check it out. I'm probably going to put a link in the description as well. And now I'm just going to mess with this project, really. That's what I want to do because I want to make this look cool. I'm just basically going to make the text show up a bit later so that it's actually creating this glitch animation. I'm going to put this animation or transition at the end as well. I'm going to make this look cooler by adding some venation lines. That's the vibe that I want to go for. Now, if we go back in Photoshop and we change the text, that's going to be changed in After Effects and that's going to be changed in Premiere Pro as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to my Instagram, comment on YouTube, send me an email, all that stuff. Now, thank you guys for watching and have a blessed week. Bye-bye.